In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a WMS within JOSM. We'll use the spot satellite imagery of an area of Pakistan hit by floods. This has recently been made available as a WMS. I'll assume you've downloaded JOSM and started it up. The first thing we need to do then is install the WMS plugin. Go to the Edit menu and then Preferences. Then click the plug icon to see the plugin settings. First time you see this, you'll need to click download list to see the list of plugins. There's a whole list of plugins available for JOSM. We want the WMS plugin. So tick that and then click OK. And the plugin is installed. But before we can use it, we'll need to close down JOSM and start it up again. You need to do this to initialize JOSM with the new plugin. As it starts up, it will prompt us to make sure the plugin is up to date. Now we see we have a new WMS menu. There's default options, but we want to add spot to this list of available layers. If you go to edit menu preferences again, you should find we have a new WMS settings panel. We're going to add a new WMS. Let's call it Spot Pakistan. And this is where we need to paste a new WMS URL. Let's go and find the right URL to use. In fact, the plugin needs a fragment of a WMS URL, including parameters specifying layer and projection, but some other request parameters get added on the end by the plugin. But don't worry, suitable URLs are given on the OpenStreetMap wiki. You can just copy and paste from there. Make sure you copy the whole thing. And paste it in. There should be an AND character on the far end there. Say OK and OK again. And Spot Pakistan is now on the WMS menu. But before we can see it, we need to open an area again in JOSM. This imagery is available in three areas of Pakistan. The northwest area is not so useful because it's already better served by Yahoo. So let's look at this area on the Indus River, just south of Swabi. Click download in JOSM and use the slippy map to zoom in on Pakistan. Select an area to download. For this to work, it has to be an area where spot imagery is available. So there's the data. Before we activate the WMS layer, it's important to zoom in a bit. We want the scale in the top left to say something like 100 or 150. Finally, we can use the WMS menu to start fetching images. But the imagery has some weird misalignments. We need to set the projection in JOSM. Go back to Preferences and click the grid icon to get to the map settings. For this we want WS84 Geographic. That's the top option. Let's give it another try. Perfect. We're ready to begin tracing. Even for basic tracing, you'll need to learn the basics of editing with JOSM. Have a read of my JOSM guide on the OpenStreetMap wiki. In this example we saw WMS imagery which covers an area of Pakistan hit by terrible flooding. The humanitarian OpenStreetMap team uses the wiki to coordinate mapping. Go there for the latest information on where mapping help is needed and what imagery sources you should use. You can also find us at hot.openstreetmap.org.